98.7 WFGR, stuck in the middle with you, Steelers Wheel. Andy O, Dave Cagley. Yeah. Gave you a little assignment. Did you figure out who played guitar on... Uh... It was... I told you who it was, and I forgot his name. He was the f- the former guitarist of Slayer no, that nobody knows. He's still the guitarist of Slayer. Oh, yeah, but they're... Yeah. It's just a fun fact. Okay. So, you know, Beastie but it Boys. Wasn't or... a, it wasn't a, like, a known name. When you talk about, like, known guitarists. Yeah. Eddie Van Halen is a known guitarist. Okay, well, to me, you know, and, uh, you know, because let's face it, they've got a 30-year career going here. Yeah. There's people that know. So anyway. I think there's very few. Okay. Like, musical geeks, no. Okay. You're a musical geek, and that's okay. okay. All right, fine. Let's uh, see who's on the phone here. Hey, you're on the air. Good morning. Hi there. Hey, I'm kind of late getting to the radio this morning, but could you tell me if the Bob Seger tickets went already? Are you Jody Nicole? No, I'm not. Well, we got more of them for you, though. You can still sign up online, uh, okay. WFGR. But, yeah, Jody uh, picked them up today. Oh, good for her. Yep. In that, you know, I was just heard what you guys were saying about the Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to waste my time because I don't think he should be given any attention. However, sports centers plagued with his pieces of his interview. Yeah. Smug. He's a it's, smug jackass, uh, isn't he? Yeah, he he really is. And I don't really think we should pay him any attention whatsoever. You know, just bye. You cheated. You're scum. Goodbye. I, I, honestly, you know what? I hope he goes to jail. Yeah, I do, too. I do, too. I just want to put my two cents in. All right. Hey, well, we appreciate the call. (laughs) Thank you. Have a good day. Love your music. All right. Let me ask you this about the whole Lance Armstrong. Yeah. All right. So tell me if I'm I'm seeing a pattern, because I think I am. Okay, go ahead. You can be the most diabolical, lying, bullying scumbag you can over anything. Mm -hmm. You could have an intern. Uh, as the president that's out there doing what she shouldn't be doing, going right. all the way back to Monica Lewinsky. Right. Okay. It seems to be a pattern in, in society today that no matter what you do or who you do it with or who you hurt or who you step on or who you crush to get what you want, regardless of rules or regulations or anything like that, if you show up, you go on TV and you go, I was so wrong. I'm so sorry. And that's all there is to it. And you're supposed to be you're, you're supposed to be forgiven and forgotten because you suddenly sacked up to come on and apologize for something you shouldn't have done in the first place and then lied about it for 10 years. Is, is lying getting to the point where everybody thinks they can play it as an ace in the hole yes. until it's time to apologize and then everything's supposed to be right with the world? Honestly, I don't think lying is treated the way it used to be at all. You can get away, you can get away with lying. And people, people tend to, we become more accepting of lying. Yeah. Just in general. No. You know, and I'm not talking about why. I'm talking about huge, like the Monte Teo thing. Yeah. The Lance Armstrong thing. Yeah. You go back to, as you said, to Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky. Any politics. We expect that. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. At this point, you know. It's, I lived a lie for years. Mm-hmm. I did. I was right. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic, but for years there were people out there that didn't even know mm-hmm. I drank. I never told them. Yeah, it was always that dark little secret. It was right. always that little thing. And then when I finally came out and said, "This is who I am, and this is what my life is," there were people out there that went, "Okay, well, you've been kind of a jerk." Yeah, that explains it. We're willing to forgive you if you can prove that you've truly changed. Yeah. All right, now I'm 10 years sober into this thing, and I think that proof has come through. Right. I think anybody that may have had a doubt, including some of the people that I really crushed, Mm -hmm. but I mean, you know what, when I first got to Muskegon, I called in sick before the second week was out. Really? Yeah. No, wait, when you were driving. I'd just gotten hired when I was still a drunk, you know, since 98. Uh Uh-huh. The second week of work, I had already called in sick because I was too hungover to come in. And you know what that you know people put money into you they invest in you uh-huh. and they want to they want to have right. you be a part of anything that's going to happen at the radio station and you know you you just when when you lie and you carry on and stuff like that there there has to be some times for amends yeah I don't know if Lance Armstrong deserves that now let me ask okay now does he deserve the chance to prove himself over a period of time I'm not time I'm not saying okay all is well and good now right but over you know a period of time you should you know. Okay, over a period of time, you know what? I was an alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, let's let's just let's make the story similar because right. I lived a lie, he, he lived, lived a lie. lie. Okay. That's how that works. I was an All alcoholic. Right. Now, 
I, I didn't use my alcoholism to bully people. Mm-hmm. I didn't use a team of lawyers to make them do what I say. Yeah. I didn't use my incredible power to sell things and all that stuff. You know, you know what? I was broke when I was a drunk. I'm broke when I'm sober. Right. I'm getting nothing out of yeah. this, out of my honesty. Mm-hmm. Now, be honest with yourself and look at Lance Armstrong. How much money did he make while he was doing all this crap to all these people yeah. without regard? So well, I think he's got a little bit longer road to hoe. Well, you, you were talking uh, to uh, our listener about uh, about land. You, you're saying you, know, you hope he goes to jail. The statute of limitations has run out as far as criminal. Oh, of course, he's not, yeah. Now he could still. There are civil suits right. that could come. Yeah, and he could pay through the nose for that. That so his comeuppance as far as um, the those he bullied uh, getting him back that could still happen. But um, let me let me get back to you. You were talking about um, you know going going through being an alcoholic, dealing yeah, with all yeah. that, and how you lived a lie, and uh, how you over over ten years you feel like you've kind of made come a mess. full circle. Made I, a mess. And, and you do know you, what? But, but see, this is what I wanted. Let to Let me ask just you. throw this in there okay. before you do. There are still a couple of people out there I would like to make amends with, mm-hmm. but they've refused. Okay, and that's you know that's what not, yeah. I I've, you can't do anything about you, that. There's nothing I can do about that. But go ahead. Well, what I was going to ask you is, do you still feel like you have to? prove yourself at all in that area like i mean even 10 years out because i have just as some you know looking at you as somebody who's who understands living a line obviously not doing what lance armstrong right right, did, right 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 but do i have to prove myself in what way in what way is it like, like do you have to prove your trust do you still feel like you have to prove your trustworthiness no you don't no. okay I, I really don't i think i think i've gotten to the point now where uh, I I know I'm changed. Mm-hmm. I I I I knew the second it, I knew the second everything changed for me. It happened mm-hmm. in a rehab hospital. Yeah. I knew the split second that I would never have a drink again, and you know it was it was some work on my end to go back and apologize to the people that I really mm-hmm. did hurt. And you know the one guy that hired me out there in Muskegon yeah. to this day I still call him on the day of my sobriety anniversary, and say, dude, thank you for not firing me. Wow. Every year, every year I call the guy. Now let me ask you, just out of curiosity, how many people did you have to? Did you go back to, and say, "I'm really sorry for the way I acted, for what I did, for I, I can't the tell problems you a I caused." You I couldn't, can't, no, you can't but me, I, can't I know the people it. that I felt really had that coming, mm-hmm. and I did that. Okay, yeah, and there's so. still a couple that just are well, like, a couple I don't refused. Want to yeah, yeah. My ex-wife, she wouldn't hear it. She wouldn't. Yeah. She wouldn't listen. Mm-hmm. And, okay, I offered. Right, I, and that's you know what? You, to yeah, this at day, some point, that's all to you this can day, do. if I bumped into her again, I would still go back to that thing. I would say, you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, I failed. Right, I would. So, yeah, sometimes, sometimes the wounds run pretty deep. Yeah, and they do. You know, yeah. yeah, and that's what life is. But you look at this, look at, and again, it, it comes back to the question of lying. Is it, is it really being given? The it's cr- not. It, it's not. It, people, like I said, people lie constantly. Yeah, we get lied to by politicians. Yeah. We get lied to by, by friends, celebrities, by family members. Yeah, yeah it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Work on that, Billy Joel. Honesty. Yeah, such a long. We should. We should play that right now. No, we shouldn't. I. I love that song. Well, I'm glad you do. Can you play it? But here's You're what not we got to do. It, are you? We got to talk about IHOP. Right. Yes, because they're bringing you awesome. traffic, and everything you love about breakfast is where IHOP. That's right. Le- Traffic, roll. All right, looking good. Up and down 131, the Ford, I-96, M6. Still heavy traffic flows, but no accidents to contend with so far this morning. Uh, we do have some icy patches, especially on those secondary and side roadways. That could be a bit of an issue, but uh, so far so good, especially along US-31. If traveling between Holland and Muskegon, no reported problems. That's traffic on 98.7 WFGR. <laughs>